it is your host, E-J-O, E-Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. This is different. All right, so I was just scrolling. I just got done doing like a Tom McDonald reaction. Um, if you haven't seen it, I just did Blame the Rappers. All right, I did it earlier. And I see this, Tom McDonald on Fox News. I don't like Fox News. All right, I'm just keeping it real with you. I do not like Fox News. I don't like CNN. I don't like MSNBC. All right, straight up. They like one thing I don't like is it's like they're just damn near just on like one side. Like Fox News, fucking annoying to me. All right, why? Because it's just straight up. Hold on, what the fuck is it? Oh, look at it, I'm kind of tripping. It's the left. Yeah, the left Democrats. It's like that's all they do. Leftist, 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 leftist. It's like, shut the hell up, man. Can I hear something else? And then CNN. The same thing, except reverse. All right? So, yes. All right? And I just don't like them, man. Just Fox News, not. Nah, they just get on my nerves, okay? You know, it's just... Don't be mad at me, okay? But anyways, Tom McDonald on Fox News. Really? I'm interested about this, all right? I'm interested about this. I... All right, here we go. I'm... <laughs> all right, all right. I'm ready for this, man. Hangover gang! Let's see what y'all boy talking about. Um, oops, didn't even start. Shit. Oh, shit. Didn't even start. Look at me. I'm tripping, man. My bad. Uh, let me get this straight. All right. Damn. All right, let's go. Hold on. Shit, I ain't... Shit ain't motherfucker. Uh, we'll see you next okay. time, Sylvia. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you both. You might not consider yourself someone who cares about a rap song that's climbing the charts, but it is a pretty interesting culture moment when the tune is called Fake Woke. It attacks cancel culture and it questions the Black Lives Matter movement. The exclusive interview you don't want to miss next. Questions the Black Lives Matter movement. Art. Right. When I heard that song, as far as like with questioning it, I don't feel he did. I don't feel he did that. All right. I don't. What the fuck? Okay. 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 All right. I got to hear what the hell they saying. All right. I just got to. Because what they just said and what I have in my head, I don't feel like. Okay. I'll, all right. I'm done. All right. I'll just watch it. I'll watch it. A song exploding on the music charts this week with more than two and a half million views on YouTube in just a couple of days. The viral hit is called Fake Woke. Canadian rapper Tom McDonald serves up a controversial take on cancel culture and much more. Fox News Headlines 24-7 reporter Carly Shimkus has just spoken with Tom McDonald exclusively. Hi, Carly. Hey, Martha. Yeah, that's right. It was a very interesting interview. And you know, it's common for musicians to release politically charged songs these days. But you've probably never heard one quite like this before. Rapper Tom McDonald rails against cancel culture and censorship in his new song titled Fake Woke, and his message has been heard by millions. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it, because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Now, McDonald's anti-censorship anthem has racked up over 2.5 million views on YouTube since it was released just four days ago. More impressively, it's currently the number one most downloaded song on iTunes, beating out this year's Super Bowl performer The Weeknd and Grammy winner Ed Sheeran. McDonald believes wow. his music is popular because he is willing to scream what others would never say out loud. Yep, this song was just about screaming my truth. Um, at the top of my lungs and sort of uh, there's this performative wokeness that's going on in society today and I think it was just important to uh, point some fingers at the hypocrisy and the uh, the way that the world is changing um, not for the better. 
Now, the 32-year-old is no stranger to tackling hot-button issues in a track released last year titled People Are Stupid. He made his feelings on abortion clear, wondering why some don't consider a heartbeat a sign of life. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. In another song, he discussed Black Lives reaction. Matter, calling it a valuable movement, but adding all lives matter isn't racist or stupid. Supporters call his stance refreshing, but critics have accused him of racism and homophobia. One Twitter user writing, really? um, if someone listens to Tom McDonald, cut them off completely. Another tweeting, if you like Tom McDonald, you gotta be racist. What? I know who I am. My friends and my family know who what? I am. My fans know who I am. If I see something on TV, what? I change the channel. If I'm reading something I don't like, I close the book. Like, I don't try to call the radio station and, and, call, and call the people who are on TV names and try to cancel them or call the publishing company that published the book that I don't like and try and get the author canceled. And while McDonald has the most popular song on iTunes right now and 1.6 million followers on YouTube, he is doing it only with the help of his girlfriend who shoots all of his music videos. He does not have a manager, a record label, a publicist, or PR team. He also doesn't get a lot of media attention. He attributes this to not fitting in with today's accepted narrative. People have become allergic to opinions in North America in these last five years, and it's it's pretty soon like they're going to cancel everything and all we're going to have is tall gray buildings and quiet car rides and then we're all going to be kicking ourselves in the butt for this craziness seems and like while it, you may bro. think he's conservative mcdonald says he doesn't support either political party he thinks the most important thing is to have moderate voices instead of the political polarization facing america today Mark He basically said it. It's just like how I feel. Like with Fox News, it's like, bop, bop, bop. They just talk about CNN and just the left. CNN, bop, bop, bop. That's all they do is like, they just talk about Republicans, conservatives, man. It's like, man, like I moderate. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. See, I like that. All right. Anyway, let's go back. All right. Damn, this shit's almost over. I kind of pause it for no reason when it's about to end. Okay. Carly, thank you. You're Very welcome. interesting interview. A controversial rapper uh, with a pretty strong message. Interesting to hear from him. Um, I also just want to do a... <sighs> What's up with these tweets, bro? Are you fucking serious? If you listen to Tom McDonald, you're racist. <sighs> I don't get it. What the fuck? Where is racism come? Oh my gosh. Racist? Really? Oh my gosh. That sound. Oh my fucking God. That pisses me off. That really pisses me off. That pisses me off. Because it doesn't. He doesn't show any sign of being racist. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, shit. Oh. Whatever, man. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this, all right? Um, let me know if you guys saw him on Fox News. And, um, man, y'all tell me exactly how you guys feel, all right? If I upset you guys because I say I don't like Fox News, what I'm doing right now is I'm being a real reactor and I'm keeping it real with you guys. All right. Just like I said, I don't really like a lot of national news because it's like they make you choose one way. You know, it kind of makes you how they make it seem. It seems like they kind of make you hate the other side, being completely honest with you. All right. Anyways, fuck all that, man. I came here for Tom McDonald. See him on Fox News. I want you guys to tell me how you guys feel about that. All right. Y'all tell me exactly how you guys feel about that, how you guys feel about him as a rapper, and like anything he says, if you think anything is controversial, let me know if, what the fuck does he say to you guys to what make people, what do you guys think that he said so people can think he's racist? Like, I never heard him, like what, because what, some people, what, like they said, like, you know, some people could talk about, you know, Black Lives Matter movement, 
And like they could say it a certain way. It's like, oh, nigga, you racist. And I'm like, it's, I never heard anything by him where it was like, I had a problem with it. I don't know. Anyways, this is the most fucking government dumbass shit I'm ever going to talk about because I hate it because I don't like, I feel like it's causing the division between people and I don't want people to dislike me because of a certain stance, even though that's why I don't say shit about the president or anything like that. All right. You guys tell me how you guys feel about this. All right. Straight up. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about it. All right, man. We Tom McDonald, man. Look at this. I got a shirt with a little prejudice right here. I bet you he would love this shirt. All right. Anyways. Yeah, I know Tom would love this shirt. All right. Anyways. I'm gone, man. That that shit was annoying. For real. That was, man. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. Like the video. Subscribe. Leave a comment, y'all. Let me know how you guys feel about all this. All right. Kept it real with you guys. And guess what? I've been talking a little bit too damn long, all right? I'm gone.